today on Sledhead 24-7. Are you ready for a trip into a snowmobile time tunnel? We'll have a history lesson on Polaris. Then fast forward to today, where Polaris power is on top of the box at Snowcross. Later, our resident gearhead Jeff Big Fish Fisher heads deep into the woods to ride, rate, and review the latest from Ski's CNA. Big Fish says the latest in ski technology makes early season trail riding a whole lot of fun. And meet the backcountry cousins. This duo thrives in deep powder amid big time adventure. Tag along with a world class pair of riders and their family tradition based on heading to the mountains. That's just part of what's in store on today's award winning edition of Sledhead 24 7. Welcome to another great episode of Sledhead 24-7, your show for everything snowmobile. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorch, and joining me this week is Jeff Fisher. We're coming to you from Dennis Kirk. You know, Chelsea, Dennis Kirk, what a rich history at Dennis Kirk. They've been around 50 years, almost as long as I've been around, and they sell tons of snowmobile parts. Where else do we use parts? Out on the Snowcross track, Polaris has a brand new race sled with a bunch of new parts. Let's go check it out. When it comes to the art of the snowmobile, Old Man Winter's snowy studio can be found in the north woods of Minnesota. Polaris is an industry leader. Their impact on the world of snowmobiles spans the globe. Discover new adventures, exciting things to do, with a mechanical dog team to pull you through a sunlit winter wonderland. Break your own trails with the dependable Polaris. Several family design models offer speeds from 18 to 35 miles an hour. See and drive a Polaris. Come on! The land is for living and the White Hills are waiting. Polaris! In the early days of the sport, Polaris blazed a trail that many followed. Snowmobile pioneer Edgar Hattin dreamed up an exciting way to enjoy winter and the fun had only just begun. Today, from track to trail, Polaris sleds continue to lead the charge. On the snowcross racetracks, the world's greatest snowcross racers depend on Polaris power. In 2017, Cody Cam was the king of the snowcross mountain as the world champion in the pro class. From the saddle of his Polaris number 53 was number one. And this season, Cody is back in tip-top form, ready to wrestle his title back. It's all my game. <laughs> the new 2019 Polaris is awesome. We got a longer track, uh, different seat setups, a lot more comfortable for me and the other guys, and just uh, super happy with how they're handling this year. We did quite a bit of testing last winter and early this spring on the new sled and just getting it to where we want it. and where it's at right now and it turned out great for us and I'm really happy with it. Here comes Cam to the inside. He'll try to slam the door. They're elbow to elbow. Cody Cam takes the spot over the Amsoil finish line as the wide. Peter Narset is already a champion racer back home in Sweden. Last season, Narsa and Cam finished one and two at Canterbury, a race that's known as the Daytona of Snowcross. Ladies and gentlemen, what a run. The Pertec Snowcross Nationals are won by a Turtec sponsored sled. Cody Cam goes on to take the win. In the pits, 
you can still feel the spirit of former champ Ross Martin. While Roscoe and his 837 Polaris have retired, there's zero chance this team would race on any sled other than a Polaris. Well, with you know our longer track and our totally new suspension, I mean we've got two inches more uh, travel in the suspension. Uh, we're we're going to have better hole shots with the long track. It goes through the bumps straight. Uh, you can just keep that thing pinned and, and and it'll stay straight all the way through the rhythm sections, through the rough sections. So pumped about the sled. The new player sled has been really great. You know, it's uh, every day we're trying new stuff. Um, but so far, really, really great results the first turn. Uh, we're gonna keep testing, keep getting faster, and keep battling. From champion racer, to world record holder, to team owner, Launch and Levi always been a high-flying Polaris ambassador. Longville, Minnesota, please welcome Levi LaValle! <laughs> First off, 136, the obvious, you can visually see, well, that sled's longer, you know, and what we found, tons more traction, so you get a better hole shot, and the other thing is it, it tracks a lot straighter when you're pounding through loops, you don't have as much dancing, the back end coming around, and then on top of that, they, they accompanied it with a brand new skid, new design, fully redesigned, so that's really helping the guys get through the bumps. And especially the G-outs, when there's the big V-out out holes that track gets rough, really seems to get through that stuff better. So I, they've done a tremendous amount with the sled. The Polaris tradition began in the early days of the sport, and they hearken back to a simpler time. Back in the day, it was who can ride to the top of the hill first. That was when racing began. Those winning ways are baked into all Polaris sleds. Confidence is key, always. Still ahead, tag along for a family tradition of deep powder fun. These backcountry cousins are double trouble when it comes to finding a new adventure. Our resident gearhead, Mr. Jeff Fisher, gears up to ride, rate, and review. Big Fish is never one to slow down. Find out how Fish feels about the latest CNA trail skis. And Ram Tough also means Tucker Tough. We'll catch up with the winning snowcross racer in history as we look back at some simply amazing races. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, runs on freedom. By Polaris, by Arcticat. Skidoo, that skidoo feeling by FXR, extreme adaptability for all conditions, and powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7, your show for everything snowmobile. Jeff and I have been hanging out at Dennis Kirk today, and it looks like Jeff has found the parts counter. Jeff, what you looking at? Well, I'm getting some new CNA Pro skis or new Trail Pro skis to put on our snowmobiles and go take them for a ride. CNA Pro skis. Now, this is a company that designs and sells aftermarket skis. Now, this company's been around for nearly 30 years, and I can attest over 20 of them I've personally been using their product. CNA, I mean, you know, they're always trying to build the better ski. They're trying to give us as consumers a better product. And I think they're doing a fantastic job of doing so. You know, most of the time when you when someone has CNAs on, they're usually a fairly aggressive rider. When they want to turn and point their skis, they want to turn. They don't want any push. They want nothing. Uh, this XPT kind of bridges the gap. It's uh, they work real well for just the average trail rider as well as the guy who wants to dig that ski in and really rock the corners. But with the CNAs, I'm able to feel a little more confident at speeds to stay and hug the right side, where I'm right next to the right side of the trail. Helps give me a little more confidence uh, in where I want to put the sled. You know, the, in the ski world, it's really tough because, of course, that's 
you know, the two things that are getting you where you want to go are your skis. That's what's contacting the, the snow surface. To get one that, that does really good in the soft snow and gets it really well on the hard pack, it's tough. So you're always trying to make something in between and it's a pretty tough business this ski business is. CNA is making a bunch of different skis to do different things from their mountain skis, their backcountry skis, their snowcross skis, and now their XPT, their performance trail ski. Uh, they're, they got the whole pretty well rounded on skis. And this XPT for you trail guys, you might want to take a look at those. What's really cool too with the CNA Pro, you can order them. Oh, there's quite a few different colors you can order them with, also with different handles. Just remember, carbides and mount kits are sold separately. Then every time I turn around, CNA is, is letting me know that they have a new product or they want me to try some new ski or, or something new design that they did and it always keeps getting better and better. I can hardly wait to see what they have for the future. And for more information, caproskis.net, and you can go on there. There'll be information on every ski, the colors, and you can pick which one is gonna work best for your riding style. So if you're in the market looking for some skis, check out CNA Pro Skis, where you can ride like a pro. Put down that remote. There's more Sledhead 24-7 to come right after this. Ham and Eggs, Lennon and McCartney, Tucker, Hibbert and Ram. Some things never change. When Sledhead 24-7 roars back, catch up with Snowcross superstar Tucker Hibbert as the T-Train shares his next chapter. But first, Len Groom is standing by with the latest Amsoil tech tip. You ready to see some exciting news in the snowmobile industry? Let's roll that footage. A racer with a name like no other, Tucker Hibbert. You can now call Tucker Hibbert a racing legend, the winningest racer in snow cross history. To Tucker's team packed a lot of history into his race trailer. At the helm, head mechanic and dad, Kirk Hibbert. Also an iconic winning racer back in the early days of the sport. The main things that he taught me are, are hard work and practice and that you can never, you know, kind of give up. You just got to keep pushing and keep finding ways to be better. And If he hadn't have wanted to really race, would have I pushed him in that direction? Probably would have done a little pushing, but I literally never had to push. If anything, it was a little bit of almost hold back a little bit, you know. And as the post-Tucker era begins, racers can only attempt to describe what T-Train meant to the sport. What he did though for the sport is he just, he elevated it to a whole new level. You know, all of the riders, all of the teams, everybody just doing everything they can on all aspects, never leaving a detail out. We all were bumped up because of what Tucker did. Had a lot of fun racing and you know, I have no regrets looking back at any decisions or any, anything I've done with my career. It's, it's been, you know, all a learning experience and a lot of fun and, and it's brought me to where I am today. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked on how it's went. As the next chapter of Snowcross is being written, Tucker's racing spirit can still be found in a place you might not think of. Tucker is still tooling around in a Ram truck, his once trusty teammate that carried Tucker's crew from race to race, probably filled with groceries for his family now. It's the same Ram tough truck that the Sledhead 24-7 team uses to get around North Country with all our sleds and TV gear. Storytelling never got any better. You know, when you're chasing snow, no better truck than a Ram truck to get you where you need to go. So have you checked out any of the sleds yet from sledbuild.com? Yeah, I haven't. There's some cool sleds on there. Now you got till the end of February to enter. I know there's some more cool sleds out there. You can be mild to wild, new to old, 
you enter it, you get a beanie. So put some photos, put a little story, you know, yep. get us excited, and we're gonna vote on them. Enter, get a beanie. Deep in the mountains, on Beyond the Last Chance for Gas, this is where our backcountry cousins ride and thrive. Discover their one-of-a-kind family tradition in the deep powder. And here's the good news, you're invited to tag along. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Runs on freedom. Rocks, your rider position specialists. Traxxas, the fastest name in radio control. By Stud Boy, traction with an attitude. Ziegler Cat, exceptional service backing the best equipment. And by U.S. Air Force, aim high. Jeff and I have been shopping at Dennis Kirk all day long. They have everything you need from gear to parts to accessories. The only problem is there's so much here, I just keep losing Jeff Fisher. Jeff, what are you doing now? Yeah, I'm just browsing the catalog. Well, it looks like you're looking at mountain gear. Are you thinking of heading out west? Well, yeah, but we just were. In fact, we just were in the mountains riding with two guys, Andy and Justin Thomas. Those guys are pretty fun to ride. Check it out. My name is Andy Thomas, number 104. I'm Justin Thomas. I'm number 112, and I race for Polaris. Justin's my cousin, and I'm my brother, my best friend. We hang out way too much. Pretty much everybody is like, where's your brother? And referring to Andy, I'm like, yeah, it's my cousin. He looks a lot older than I am, so when I tell people, they're like, how old's your brother? And I'm like, he's 23, and they're like, how old are you? And I'm, I'm 23. So they're like, oh, what? Are you twins? I'm like, no, we're actually cousins. Um, Justin's kind of a quiet kid, but if he's in the shop alone and you show up and look through the window, you know he's got some girly song playing and he's walking around dancing or like he has such a personality that nobody gets to see he keeps it to himself but he's always dancing or singing to himself or talking sometimes he has a really cool mustache like he loves ice cream he loves popsicles but he like won't have one unless i have one so if he grabs him five he grabs me five so he doesn't feel guilty it's so funny and the power that 850 patriots putting out is just I've never had a stalker that willies uphill and just can pull like that sled does and gets out of the snow. It's just, it's incredible sled, it really is. My Polaris, I just, I love how, they fit my riding style of being aggressive, like a mountain tree rider. I like to hang a leg on a race course. I'm not much of a, of a driver. I just, I like to, just the, it, they're so nimble and they, they're so true. They're just made for the mountains. Um, this. Support program's awesome. I really like the people that are in with Polaris. They have such a great passion for just making their snowmobiles and the sport better. And that's what that's what I'm about. So surround your pe surround yourself with people you want that are going to make you better and who you want to become. Yeah, avalanches are just a different animal. I got caught in one last year and thought I'd buried my best friend and he thought he buried me and just we started out the morning we had a plan and then we veered away from the plan and it just it just went downhill from there so as far as avalanches go just you can't really avoid them if you're going to be riding in the backcountry all the time try to check your your updates on if it's high moderate um, get the proper gear the your beacon your backpack your probe just the just the basics and just really try to avoid them. It's gonna happen, you can't get away from that stuff if you're gonna be riding in the backcountry all the time, but just have a plan, stick to your plan, know where your friends are, and have fun, be safe. King of Kings, number 112, Justin Thomas! <laughs> to win King of Kings at Jackson, that's one of the achievements for something that I was looking or dreaming about ever since I started hill climbing or before that when I just was a spectator up there going and watching my dad race. To actually have it become a reality, it's just, it's almost like, you almost don't believe it until like after the fact you look back at it and you're like, wow, I just did that. And one of my biggest goals hopefully defend my King Kings title at Jackson Hole.
Yeah, riding with Andy and Justin Thomas, uh, two cousins that are multi-discipline snowmobile riders. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Sledhead 24-7. We want to give a big thank you to Dennis Kirk in Rush City, Minnesota for having us out. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorich. And I'm Jeff Fisher, where we ride, rate, and review, because that's what we do. And we'll see you out on the snow. Well, before I get on the snow, i got to keep shopping. All right, Jeff, we'll see you out there. If you have a great story idea, or know a wonderful place to ride, or a favorite lodge, please let us know. We're always live at Sledhead24-7.com. Gather around the TV, laptop, and smartphone as Chelsea, Big Fish, Cubby Bear, and that old buzzard have more snowmobile stories to share.